that I really hope this is gonna work. This is literally maybe my fifth time trying to record this video and it has been hell. <laughs> I believe I'm having all these problems because my phone is not working properly when it comes to recording anymore and this thing that I'm recording with now, which is my camera, always seems to die out of nowhere, like the battery's bad or something, so I've always been having problems with this. Anyways, welcome back guys to another video, and this one is kind of a like, what I've been doing throughout the month. I know it's been a long, long month almost since I've recorded on my channel, and uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I was trying to be, I wish this was like, hold on. What I was trying to say was, I'm sorry for not being able to record as much. I have finally found a new job and this job is actually, you know, um, a job I need more than YouTube. And I'm, I know that sounds bad, but YouTube has been doing very bad with me lately. But that is not the, the title of this video. This is not what the subject's about. So let's actually talk about the real thing that I really want to let you guys know on. I am actually starting to want to be in the Air Force. Now, I've always kind of wanted to be in the Air Force, but I never actually want, like, went to do it or, like, tried to enlist or anything like that. And I have now tried to enlist. Most people are like, Nikki, why, why in the heck do you want to, like, be in the Air Force now out of nowhere? Like, why? Well, first of all, before I uh, got a job, which I have a job now, I don't know if you guys know, that's why I have sawdust and crap all over me. <laughs> before I got my job, I thought, hey, this is a perfect opportunity to finally go into the Air Force like I've always wanted to, and I always have. I've always wanted to be in the Air Force just because, well, first of all, I've always wanted to do something in my life, something amazing, something, you know, that would be memorable, right? Um, something I would want to do that's on my bucket list, and I was like, hmm, what do I want to do? And I was like, you know what, I've always kind of wanted to be in the Air Force. Um, my dad used to be in the Air Force, and so I kind of wanted to be because of him, but also just because I think it would have been a I think I would like to be in the Air Force personally just because like I said I want to do something memorable in my life I've always wanted to be either a cop like sometimes I even thought about being a firefighter or a nurse I've had all these crazy ideas of what I wanted to be this is kind of like being like one of those uh, being in the military defending my country doing something good and making you know having me realize I'm actually you know trying to make a difference in this world with my own life you know and I know that sounds stupid most people are like hey no I'm not going in any kind of Air Force or military wise whatever because I don't want to die well just because if you go into one of these branches doesn't mean you're gonna die you know um, for instance Air Force you're rarely on the field uh, most of the time you're just like, for instance, I want to be doing something like cyber operations or um, or space operations or something like that. Like something that's behind a computer. Uh, but, you know, you don't have to always be always deployed out somewhere, you know. I, I've been trying to get into this Air Force, uh, this Air Force, the Air Force, uh, United States Air Force, and it has been a struggle. So, first of all, they will not let me join because they do have policies and you have to follow these policies or else they will not let you join whatsoever. So uh, one of the policies that is causing me not to go is tattoos. Now they recently just changed their tattoo policy. So you can have tattoos on your arm, like, oh, can you kind of see that? It's hard to show right there or right there. Like you can have tattoos all over your arms, all over your legs, all over your chest, back, you know, any of those. But you cannot have any tattoos on your face, your lip, uh, your scalp, your neck, and the one I really hate, the hand. So I have this on my hand. I don't, can you guys see that? Eh, I have to like turn my hand all weird. Um, oh jeez, I just moved the freaking thing. But yeah guys, um, I have a tattoo on my hand. And it's a tattoo of a paw print. It's for my cat Oreo, if you guys don't know. Um, I actually made a video on about her passing away on my channel. So if you guys want to check that out, I mean, it'll be up here, up here, one of these two. Anyways, uh, but yeah, so I loved her so much. She was my favoriteest animal in the world. And I swear, we were like soul bound. You know how people say, oh, that's my spirit animal. No, really, I feel like Oreo was my spirit animal. So 
I kinda, I wanted to have a paw print of her, nin well, with an O inside that's really cute. <sighs> and you guys knock it off. I can't have it anymore because if I wanna go to the Air Force, I cannot have this tattoo. So I know it looked probably gross <laughs> when you guys saw it, just barely. Uh, that is because I put some acid on it. Now, uh, I put some TCA 50%. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's a it's a chemical that like burns your skin. <laughs> I know it sounds terrible. Um, they actually use it in dirt like the dermatologists use it on people's skin if they have like acne scars or anything like that. Like I could use it on my acne scars. They also use it on warts and uh, moles and stuff to burn them off. But I just put some on about a week and a half ago, so it's still healing. Uh, it was actually much grosser than it is now, so it looks really well compared to what it was. Uh, but it's faded a little bit, but I gotta put like probably four more ap applications on it. So that'll take about four more months before it's hopefully gone. Like, cause it raises the skin, you know? Like, so you burn off the top skin layer, it's gonna raise the other, raise the ink with it. You're gonna burn off the next layer and so on and so forth until that tattoo is completely gone. Um, I do not recommend doing this by yourself if you are not 18 years or older. Even then, I kind of like, I don't feel safe doing it myself. So if you decide to do this, um, please just be very careful. Like I'm using 50%, that stuff is very potent. Usually you're supposed to mix it with some water. I didn't have any, so I just put a very, very thin layer on top of my hand. I didn't put that much on because I was scared it was gonna burn it really bad because this stuff can be very bad. Like it can give you third degree burns if you're not careful, so. Um, I, mine's fine. Um, I did put a little heavy applicant on the edge. If you guys saw it, it was like gross looking. I don't, oh, don't focus on my face. It's still gonna focus on my face. Okay, well, anyways, yeah guys. So just be careful with it if you ever use it because it's definitely not something to mess with. It's not a play toy. And my arm here, it's fine. It's just, uh, it hurts from my new job. I have to use this hand a lot to put um, putty on, no, it sounds weird, putty on mantles, uh, when we, we build mantles, it's woodworking, and I put some putty on it to fill in the cracks, so it doesn't look like it, like, I don't know, it makes it look better, anyways, yeah, so, that is why I'm not in the Air Force yet, or trying to be in the Air Force, but that's fine, the re the, even though if I can't go in now, it gives me a chance to get in shape, it gives me a chance to practice for that ASVAP, which is a test. This test is supposed to be pretty, it's like a ACT or CAT test, I don't know if you guys, most of you probably taken at least one of them in high school. Um, I bombed mine, like I had a 18, like that is so bad, an 18, or was it a 13? I know it was in the teens, it wasn't very high, and I did pretty bad. <laughs> um, I could never get into any kind of college with that kind of score. But yeah, uh, I really wanna try to actually focus on this test that they make you take for the Air Force. Um, pretty much what this test is, is like your basics, like your basic science, your ba basic math, um, like your basic knowledge on electrical and mechanical um, stuff, which, I'm pretty good on electrical, but mechanical I suck, and I suck at math so bad. So I'm a little worried about those two, but um, I just need to do a, a brush up on all my all my subjects, and hopefully I'll be able to join the Air Force. But first, like I said, I gotta get this tattoo off before anything. So I just I have to make sure I get my uh, my tattoo off. <laughs> I've been kind of trying to show everyone what it's like when you get your tattoo, like, burned off. <laughs> it's been a, a rough, rough few, few week, well, week and a half now, because it itches all the time. It feels like a sunburn, okay? It feels like a sunburn. Um, like one of those more severe sunburns where it itches and stuff. I will kick your butt, dude. But yeah, I am uh, trying really hard to get into this Air Force, and like, it scares me. Like, it scares me in a way that I kind of don't want to be in the Air Force. It's weird because, you know, you gotta go through boot camp, which, oh, oh my gosh, I don't know. It's gonna be hard for me. Um, I'm definitely not gonna be used to the whole getting yelled at uh, thing and the fact that <laughs> you're nobody at this place. Like, you're just another number 
that needs to get through and you are supposed to be told to do what you've been told I need to learn how to like build an M M16 from scratch like well build it you know take it apart put it back together kind of thing you know uh, <laughs> I don't know how to do that, let alone, I haven't really held many guns in my life, I've only like used one or two and I have to shoot an M16 and uh, I have to go through like a gas chamber and getting yelled at by, um, by a, 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 you know, one of the, oh god I should know these guys, uh, MTIs I think is what they're called, MTIs, uh, they're the people that are the ones bossing you around telling you what to do. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, they're a little scary because, like I said, they yell at you. Like, they full-on yell at you. Like, let's go, recruit, come on! You know, pick up the pace! And even though you're going real fast and you're trying your best, you're like, they're still yelling at you. And that's what I'm a little nervous about. Um, also, MEPS is a little scary to me. MEPS is what you go into before you get qualified to go to boot camp. So, what MEPS is, is they make sure you're fit, fit enough to go into boot camp. They also make sure that you have no, like, medical issues. Uh, they make sure you're mentally stable. They check your hearing. They check, like, your, um... I think they check your speech and uh, they pretty much make sure you're, you're okay to go into the military. They do this with everybody that goes through the military. So that's like the Marines, Navy, Air Force, uh, Army, National Guard, like they go through everybody at MEPS. Um, and it seems, per that's when it starts feeling like a real thing. That's when it starts feeling like, oh my gosh, this is really happening. Of course, I haven't got to that point yet, because like I said, I can't even enlist until this stupid tattoo's off. And I think it's stupid, but at the same time, I understand why they don't want that kind of, like, tattoos on your hand or face or anything like that. They want to make the military still be somewhat professional, and I get that, I get that, um... Even though my tattoo is not offensive in any way, shape, or form, even though it's tiny, there's no waiver for it, and I, I can't. I'm stuck with having this thing until I get it off, so <laughs> it's going to be fun. But yeah, that is my plan. Um, kind of let you guys know what's going on. Like, if I do actually move on and progress into being a recruit through... Um, through the Air Force, I will let you guys know. It'll probably be six months to a year before that will even happen. And that's if I can get this tattoo off in time. I might actually have to go to a specialist with a laser and take off, take it off with a laser. And those things are expensive. Like for one session, it's gonna be $100 for this little guy. For that little guy, $100. That's, that's just ridiculous to me. Uh, that's more than me actually getting the tattoo. This thing was only like 40 bucks, so, and I know that's a lot for a little tattoo, but you gotta remember there's needles and ink involved and all that good stuff. Anyways, but yeah, so I'm trying really hard to go in the, the Air Force. Definitely something I'm looking forward to in my life. Uh, it will be a four year term. So I'll be in it for four years, and a lot of people are like, why don't you just do the reserve? Well, first of all, I don't think they have a reserve for the Air Force, and if they do, I don't know if I want to just do the reserve because, I don't know, I just, I just want to get the full experience. I don't want to just be enlisted and then just go in, boot camp, and then go home and just be... Re and you know just be there just in case if they need me for a war or something you know um i actually want to go out and try things and do things so four years is a long time and i told my um my girlfriend as you guys know i have a girlfriend <laughs> we've been together for two years and i told her you know i hope you realize when i go into the air force from boot camp <laughs> uh and after that, I'm gonna be gone. Like, boot camp's two months, right? And then after boot camp, uh, after I graduate, I'll be going straight to tech, uh, tech school, which they will teach me whatever I need to learn for, uh, my, for my job that I pick, I guess. <laughs> I'm still gonna be, I'm still thinking about what job I might want, but yeah. So, and then after that, however many months that is, it could be six months or more, um, it could be up to you, depending on what kind of major you want to go into. Major, wow, uh, career you want to go into. Huh, so I'll be away from home, I'll say probably six months, so that'd be six, seven, eight. You'll be gone for eight months, um, before you can actually go home for two weeks. 
And then after those two weeks, after you get done with tech school, you go home for two weeks or whatever you want to do for two weeks, then you'll be on your four-year term. And that's like almost, to me, that, yeah, that's almost like five years, right? So you'll be out somewhere, one of the bases around here for five years, well, four years, but that's a long time. And I told her, I hope you're ready for this because it's going to be a long four years. Like, are you ready to stay with me with this? And I told her, I was like, I really want to do this, but I don't want to do it if you're not going to stick around. And she was like, oh no, I, I support you, I'm here, you know. And I hope it's true because I do love her a lot and, you know, I just want to provide for her. And a lot of people are like, well, Nikki, the Air Force doesn't make as much as you think. Well, yeah, but it may make enough for me to pay my bills and, you know. And uh, I don't know if I want to go overseas. Most people say you have to have a six year contract to be able to go overseas and that's fine. I mean, I really don't know if I'd want to go to Japan, Japan anyways. Ah, gosh, okay, well, I guess that's that. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know what your guys' opinion is on the Air Force, if you guys have been in the Air Force, if you guys have been in any kind of military branch, let me know. I am nervous about this. I'm still like trying to figure out if I fully want to do this, but then I think about it, I'm like, yeah, I do. I already burned my tattoo to hell, so I might as well, right? <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, that's, that's that, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell button if you want to see more videos of mine. I am going to try to upload as much as possible, but right now my life is kind of everywhere so like I said my new job is definitely nicer I'll be able to make videos or come home and do videos at least after three o'clock my time because I get off at 3 15 every day Woo! but yeah guys uh that's the end of this video thanks for watching see you guys later